Hey guys, did you guys have a good Sunday? Because I had a good Sunday and a weird Sunday. So, <laughs> started out really good going to church, and church was amazing. I will leave those clips after this. And <laughs> it was awesome, right? So, yay! Then we were going home, and something happened to our car. So, like, the ball barrels or something? I don't know. But right above the tire, it just went boof. And our car, like, dropped like that. And my mom and I just, like, bounced. And luckily, we weren't on the freeway. We just got off the freeway. And we were, like, trying to find something to eat. So we were, like, that close to getting in a huge accident and dying. So thank you, Jesus, that that did not happen. Because that would have made me sad. <laughs> I would have been like, why am I with you, Jesus? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> So, um, yeah, so we had to wait for the tow truck and then take it to the dealer place and it took forever for that to happen because when the tow truck guy came, like, he had to, like, pop the tire off and f try to fix it, like, where he could pump it up so he could actually move it. It was crazy. Insane. So, finally got home and just kind of letting ourselves vibrate, like... <laughs> just realize like what just happened just kind of rest and yeah so I'm getting ready to watch Once Upon a Time because I love that show and start the week tomorrow so now I have to share a car with my mom so now I have to like take her to work and then go get her at the end of the day so that should be interesting but I'm excited because tomorrow is gym day and also golfing day so it's supposed to rain though so I'll probably just go and to a covered range and hit balls but yeah good weekend did the walk for freedom church got to look at Bellevue Mall which is amazing I want to go back so bad because they have all the stores I love and super cute stuff I got a book at one of this places what was it called Lorna Jane or something like that and it's a workout place really expensive <laughs> I was like oh these pants are cute $250 I was like yeah that's not happening but I got a book that was really cool because I'm trying to like I want to start eating better and eating clean and drink more water and all the stuff that I already know what to do but this was really just the way it's like laid out is super cute and I don't know, maybe she has some tips or recipes. There's recipes in there, so easy stuff that I could kind of follow. So I'm excited about that. So I got a book because it was the only thing that really I could afford in that store. <laughs> All the stuff was so cute, though. Oh, well. <laughs> one day. One day it'll happen. Um, yeah, so and then I got to eat at... Cheesecake Factory. I was like, oh my god, I just blinked. The Cheesecake Factory, which I was so excited to do because I ate there a long time, like, <laughs> long time ago, and didn't really have that great of a time, and yeah, not gonna go into detail, but I needed a new memory. So for years, I've been wanting to go there and have a new memory to replace that memory, so I finally got to do it with my mom and Christina, and it was so much fun, and I got this really yummy dish. It was called garlic noodles, and I had chicken put into it, and it was so good because I love myself some noodles. Oh my gosh, and that is like one of my biggest things is I eat too much noodles. I'll admit it. I'm a noodle-holic, and that needs to change. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, tomorrow is boot camp and hopefully work out with um, someone with one-on-one -on -one training to help like target different muscles and then golf course. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And also I'm going to go see, so, okay, so there's some girls on the show, Big Break With Me, that I'm not going to mention any names, but they had eyelash extensions. Okay, if you watched the show, you just think about it, and you'll you'll figure it out. I mean, nobody has those eyelashes. Let's be real. So I was like, oh, I've always wanted to do it. Like, ever since I saw it, I was like, oh, that, that looks so nice. Like, I want to do that, because I love, like, the look when I wear false eyelashes. Because look at this. Look. <laughs> it's like, I have baby lashes. And so <laughs> I'm like, I want to try it. So I'm going to go to this place that I found out does it, and they're really clean, and I've heard that they have really good results so 
I'm going to go see how much it is, kind of check it out, see if I want to, if that's something I would like to try. I don't know. I think it'd be fun just to do it once. If I like it, then I'll know what it looks like and do it for special occasions, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to do that. And yeah, that's about it. That's about it. So I will put the link, or not the links, <laughs> I will put the clips of today's service after this, and I hope you guys enjoy it. It was really good. We're starting the Crash of the Chatterbox series for small groups, and so Pastor was kind of just like opening it up and going over kind of like the first chapter of the book. So yeah, it was really good, and it's something that I really needed to hear because, you know, it's so important not to lead by feelings. Um that's when you get yourself in trouble. And lately, you know, I've been learning that, that, you know, if you tell yourself what to think, like it can happen and that the power of the mind is so huge in your life and to speak what you want, like, cause words can like either make you or break you. It's, it's true. So it's good. So I hope you like the clips that I got. I tried to, I was too busy taking notes. So I'd be like, Oh no, I got it. I'm going to try to film this, try to film this. And then I felt like every time I would put the camera down and then take notes, he would say something extremely good. And I'd be like, dang it, I missed it. But yeah. All right. Well, I hope you like it and I will see you guys tomorrow.
-hmm. so, so, so just chill a little bit because actually, you know, the, the devil doesn't have to be at your house because you are. Oh, oh my gosh. Ouch. <laughs> ouch. <laughs> It doesn't distract anybody, you know. Did you find a lot of the game? Not everybody in Compton's game. Richard, look at the reputation as a thug. I don't have that right there. Richard, you think you are above the law? that 
kept them thinking like slaves. Excellent.